Yeah, hello. Uh, long time no see. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I got a small video, nothing too exciting. Figure I'd share it with you. I hope you guys all had a safe New Year and all that. On to 2022. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, really don't got much else to say other than that. Just listing my eBay stuff. So you see all these video guests just, yeah. Probably about 1% of the video games I own. So I gotta clean them and then list them and sell them. Got these bobbleheads for a dollar. I don't care about the McNabb, but I bought it for the Nomar. Oh uh, yeah, keep Nomar over there. The other one's worthless, but I paid a dollar for it. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, a couple weeks ago I got into Eloy's first ever well yeah i don't know if he's done it again since then or not but whatnot the app whatnot it's like a live auction bidding thing i know he's done it maybe once or twice that i know of but this was his first one i jumped into the beginning and i did some stuff afterwards so i really couldn't and then of course he throws some titans up there just to try to keep me in the stream as long as possible and it worked and this one guy was trying to outbid me and i was like not a chance but anyway uh, it's pretty cool, so if you check it out, check out Eloy's whatnot thing. He's a seller on there. But yeah, the first one is this from last year's Absolute AJ Brown. Finally, he's kind of back and pretty healthy, and is at a 60. It's not game used or anything, but I don't know. I paid like a dollar or something for that. But um, yeah, Titans. All you gotta do is beat the Texans next week, and they wrap up the number one seed. So this one's game worn slash used material. This NFL 100 from 2019 Chronicles. I haven't put it in a perfect sleeve yet, but it's game used. It's out of 25 of Eddie the Man George. Six out of 25. So that's cool. And I'm like, I'm a sucker for game used stuff. But this one, I mean, it's the size of a normal card. I mean, I don't think this is not, I don't think it's a 55 point, but either way. Authentic Sports Center swatches. Right there. That's McNair. A little game used action. I think I only have one other game used piece of his, but it's not numbered, but still pretty cool. You just don't see obviously McNair stuff pop up. And then I got this really fast submission back. So appreciate it, Ellie. I got this super fast submission that I sent in last October with Dustin Bellinger. Not his fault, but this is kind of when they stopped the uh bulk submissions last year i sent in seven cards i had 10 total i already got in the other ones from him uh yeah these ones last month because they were like not the ultra modern but this psa 9 9 lebron the one came back that off cut or miscut or whatever that i wanted to grade that no matter what it was that was an eight so yeah did really well with those ones, which I just won these ones slab just for myself anyway. But I sent in 10 cards, and so these are going to look kind of random because this, I mean, I did send them in last October to him. I think it was considered like the November submission, but so it's been about 13 months since I've seen these cards in my little eBay card room here. So some don't make sense, but at the time, I was kind of in a rush because I, I really didn't do anything with them before submitting cards. And I, now that I knew they shut down and raised their prices, I really wish I would have done it, you know, back then. But I could have. I just was lazy about it because I really don't like looking at cards underneath the lights for that long. It hurts my eyeballs. But uh, all these, I... I almost guarantee a nine all of them uh there was a couple i thought were tens but they were nines i'm usually pretty damn close which i i will never bitch about a grader ever because you see people a lot that get grades back and they're like how are these not tens well <laughs> even on tens i've gotten back or i've seen or i've bought you could almost always see something and people will like show you a card you know kind of like this one so I sent this one in, and this one's a really impossible one to look up, but it's a pretty guard. This guy was hotter than hell last year, but I think he got hurt, and he's out for like the season this year. 
So this card almost absolutely tanked and was pretty much the cost of grading now, especially since it came back at nine. I thought it was a 10, but again, it's, these kind of cards are super hard because I don't know what they look for because, it's, I mean, I looked at this thing in every angle of light, but people pull out a card like this, get a nine or an eight, and they were like, like just like this, holding it from, you know, I'm about two feet away from my face. And somebody going like, I don't know how you don't see that. That's a 10. Or you see the pictures on uh, Facebook and they're like, what's wrong with this car? This looks clean to me. Like, man, do you know how many times I sit here like this under like two bright little spotlight, white light. And then I'll turn it like this and I'll start wiggling it up and down. Just watching that glare move up and down. And I turned over here and that's how I look at them. But our print lines on the back. So I don't know why people complain, but. You don't want every card to be a 10. Yeah, if you're going to sell them, sure. Yeah, you want them to be a 10. But like a 10 of this card was selling for like 400 I don't know, $250, $350 last year. And obviously I've waited. And I think the last one of these in a nine sold for like $25. So that one sucks. This one I thought was a nine because I remember I knew there was, there was a little corner right there. Which I'm surprised it only got a nine, but that was the only, I'm not even kidding, the only flaw I seen on this card, unless you want to talk about centering, which I'm not a professional on that either, but I knew that was there. So, but I did want to just grade it, just because, dude's a stud, and I actually own one of these where I got like the red one, red and yellow, or it was just a stud. I just wanted to grade it, and I just wanted to send something into grade, but like, even like optic. Optic's a very, you just sit there and you wiggle it, and even the smallest little nicks. Like, if I can see it, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to see it. I mean, they got your cards long enough, but I really just wanted it slabbed just for the reason, just to have it slabbed. So I, I'm completely happy with that. It's still only like a $35 card. And I think I paid $16 a card to get these uh, graded from Dustin B. And that's to ship them to him. He does all the dumb stuff that I don't want to mess with. So I appreciate that, Dustin. But, um, uh, and then he ships them back to you. And I think it was like, I think it cost me, uh, I can't remember what he, but it's like $16, $14, whatever it was, a card. It's like, the dude's making like a buck off me to do all the paperwork, to, whatever. Do all the paperwork and stuff like that. Go right ahead, please. I still wish he did it. But, you know, with PSA prices, you obviously can't. This one I thought was going to be a 10. I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised with a 9. And now it kind of looks like there's no sense of grading it, but... So I, I, this card's funny because I, I was going to send in 10 cards. I'm like, I'm going to send in 10, pay for 10. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I got to, I had a Sam Darnold rookie that I thought was going to be like a nine, maybe a 10. But I, I mean, because there's always, I just feel like there's always going to be something wrong because usually I can spot something. But so I looked this card over and I knew it was a short print and the guy was like, okay at the time. And the Dodgers, you know, they're good. So I was like, ah, oh, maybe this guy will throw some kind of crazy stuff next year. And, but I was like, I knew it had a shot at a 10 and it did get a 10. So it's just a short print of Dustin May. That's Snodzilla Jr. right there. Right there, Snodzilla. He looks just like, if he takes off his glasses, it's even worse. So, but yeah, it did come back at 10. I couldn't hear Dustin's reveal thing because of, um, uh, it was like cutting out. I even tried watching it a couple of times, but it's no big deal. But yeah, so that was pretty cool. But it did come back at 10. So if this dude throws a no hitter, guess what's getting thrown up on the bay. But like I said, I'm happy with it. It's a 10. Can't really complain. This, I, I don't know. Like I said, it's impossible to like really go over the cards again while they're in the slab the way I want to. And I had about six of these and I sold all the ones I thought we were going to get nines or possibly an eight. I sold them on eBay raw, which was fine, but I was, <laughs> I would probably say 85% confident that was going to be a 10, but yeah, it ain't, it's a nine. So it goes from like a hundred dollar card to 35 ish, 40, but either way, it was just sitting in a box and over here, I still got tons of like Tatis and Soto cards and this was like the popular one so I sent this in anyway which I have I think six of these nines that I've bought over the past like year or so just waiting for the guy to somewhat blow up but hopefully he stays healthy this year but I'm happy with it it's better to be slab than it is like I said at $16 or 
whatever the hell I paid, 15 it is uh, way better to get it slabbed at that price point. But then the card boob hit and everybody's sending in their Tom Brady base cards and, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever else. Every card you can imagine has a graded one on eBay right now. I mean, it's it, it was insane. I no wonder why. I, I, no, I can never guess why they shut down. This was one I thought was gonna be a ten. Like, I mean, I thought it was a nine, for sure, guaranteed. I mean, I wanted it slabbed anyway. But I looked this card over quite a damn few times, and I thought, nah, I'm looking at now, but <clears throat> I thought for sure it was going to be a ten, but it's not. But it is a Soto nine. Hot, one of the hottest players in baseball, really. But which I mean, it needed to be slapped raw. What you're selling it for 35, 30, 35, but I can't, I don't know. But this card right here, right now, with baseball off season, probably 60 to 75 dollars, depending on the day. Obviously, a 10 would have been awesome, but yeah, why not? But I can only imagine that there's four thousand of these that were sitting at PSA the same exact time mine was, too. So. Again, I'm happy with it. I'm completely happy with the grades. Of course, I wanted tens, but again, this is this goes with the Soto and Tatis, and this kind of sucks because he got hurt, and then the Braves won the World Series, which even more sucks. But uh, I had some Acuna's, and I could not find one that I liked, and then I found this one, and I bought this in somebody's like auction, I think. I'm, I I never opened any of those stuff, so I know I didn't. But uh, the holiday baseball, I'm not into that stuff at all. Like, I don't like the look of it. Some people do. I don't. But it's the Holiday Mega, whatever. And the, But I did get a 10. I thought it was going to be a 10, but I thought those were going to be 10s. So, this just shows you. I mean, anybody can miss anything. But, sucks he got hurt. And it's just crazy that they won the uh, World Series without him. But, hopefully he comes back strong. But, of course, anytime you have a graded card for 10 uh, out of 10 for $16, so. I think they moved the minimum from 100 to 50. If I'm not wrong. And then this one kind of like, this is like the only card that really timed out perfect in a way. But I did also think this was going to get a 10. And it was hard because it's a glossy card with a shiny finish. And I just didn't see anything wrong with it for the longest time. But this Kyler Murray, I got quite a few Kylers in here, but I thought they were all nines. So when I sent this in, I was like, man, maybe the guy will have a bounce back year next year. Then they took off. Everybody thought he's going to be MVP, all that good stuff. But uh, this Kyler Murray, it's the one out of 500. I, I pulled this out of a pack. I don't even know if that was from like a Buck City Breaker box or Brothers and Cards box I did f forever ago. I don't even know. But I did get this. I never bought the Cardinals or anything. But it's out of 500, so it's not like super short print, but... And now with the big win over the Cowboys last night, his stuff spiked up. And I couldn't, I've only found, seen a couple of the purples. I don't know if they're all at PSA still waiting now or, I don't know. You can find the base Dunruss ones all day long, but I thought it was a 10. And the only thing I could, I, again, I'm trying to remember 13 months ago when I sent it in. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the corners. Uh, unless I missed something on the surface, which I don't think I did. I mean, I was pretty damn confident it was going to be a 10, but cause that's why I don't grade. Cause I think I'm like over, over picky, I guess. But this, uh, I don't, I don't know if they count like the way these letters work and this could be hard, but like they kind of like mesh together. I, I don't remember seeing that how I don't, I don't know, but maybe it's just one of those things I wasn't paying attention to. I'm looking for nicks and hairline scratches, but like the M and like the U and the R, these first ones right here, kind of like the R over here, Mer Kyler, they kind of like bleed into together. And like, maybe that's it. I don't know. I mean, I can't get close enough on eBay to look, but that's, I mean, but it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty card. So I don't know if what I want to do, I should probably just list it right now. Take some offers. Cause I've seen some of his colored variations, the plain Dunruss, not optic. We're selling for pretty decent money right now, but. I think they got the three seed right now. No, they're down to because the Rams are winning. So yeah, they're not even winning their division. I don't think I can't remember. But yeah, still. I mean, if he does anything, pretty cool. It's a numbered card, you know. So the only one, I mean, the two I really didn't care about was this one. Now, 
and then the dust in May, but that one came at least back at 10. So you just never know. I mean, the dude might throw a freaking no hitter or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I got. Sorry I got rambling on. I just haven't made a video in a long time. So tons of other stuff though. I, mean, I, God, I should start making videos of this garage sale stuff. Kind of, I start picking up. I mean, it is about the random assortment from toys to Paw Patrol to bears to toys to clothes to the freaking never i plenty to list that's all i know but yeah here's a whole box of these space jam toys that i freaking bought i pieced them out oh yeah it's good stuff but that's all i got so dustin bellinger thank you for doing all that can't thank you enough really that saves me a whole lot of headache and then he, he even answers all the questions. People are like, where's my cords? Where's my cords? Like, like it's his fault. But either way, uh, more appreciated than you know. And out of the way for those cards from your whatnot stream. So check them out. Check them both out. That's all I got. Hopefully you guys watch it because I'm just talking and I'm really thirsty right now. It's probably about time to open up a beer. Uh, Big Ben's last game is tonight, most likely in Heinz Field. So a 10-year-old a fan. So we're going to watch. And yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe. See you later.